Hi everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmutov. I want to talk about testing Downshift.js. It's a very popular widget that is used to create drop-downs and select boxes. It can have a variety of options, and let's start with a basic one. And I put this example, and I plan to put more advanced examples in this repo. So the first example we want to see is the simplest one. When we load the page, we can select something by typing, and it shows us the choices, and we can click on a choice, and this particular app uses window alert to tell us, hey, you selected Apple. There is also this little arrow that can show the suggestions or hide them. So we can hide or show the selections, the choices, and select one. Let's start testing this. I have Cypress running on the bottom of my screen, and I have a test right here. So right now we're just visiting the page. Before we do anything, let's select or oh, let's confirm that what we select is called with window alert. So we're going to visit the page and we say on before load gives us the window of our application and we'll use size stop command. We'll take the object and its method is alert and we'll give it an alice alert. Okay. So right now notice when the test we run it now has spies and stubs. And if we use our application to pick some fruit, let's say pear, notice that the stub was called. We can confirm that it was called by saying get Alice alert have been called with, and I don't know, let's say grape. Okay. So right now this will fail because we never called it with grape. We can do it manually, right? Let's reload the test and be quick. Oh, you selected grape. You selected grape. Very quick grape. Well, now we have to actually select grape from the test to make sure assertion passes. So how do we do this? First, we have to inspect the markup that the widget generates. So we can open DevTools, look at the elements, and just look at this input. So this is uh, a label, right? Uh, downshift label, the combo box, pop-up, label by, all the typical things. The input itself, Right, has an ID, so we can either use array label or input ID. The simplest one is probably the input ID, so let's say say input and let's maybe focus. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, but instead of focusing, why don't we try typing? And let's say app. Nice. So we can see that the input is working with type app, app appeared, the widget updated the choices so now we have to select the grape okay so to select this we need to know the selector for grape so notice that the choices disappear when i take the focus away luckily we have this button and this button can restore all the choices so we can find what is this grape uh, markup so notice it's uh, a list of with a roll list box okay and we can say Okay, so maybe we can say, uh, let's say the menu. Okay, so once we type, then we can get the menu. And inside it contains, right? So notice there are all options, and one of them has a text grade. So we'll say maybe roll option grade. And we'll say should be visible. And once it's visible, we're going to click on it. Perfect. So our task has passed, right? and we can run it again. So we did type the correct thing, the choices appeared, we got the menu, we found the option with text grape, we clicked on it, and our alert was called with the right text. So this is how we can test a simple basic example of downshift.js.